1,500 of my compatriots have lost their precious lives. Many of our healthcare workers who have been in the front line of this battle have lost their lives to this disease because they did not have the necessary protective equipment. The pharmacy is empty. Even before the Ebola crisis, they had trouble getting the pharmacy stocked with the things that they needed. The Ebola outbreak started in Guinea, uh, which uh, neighbors Liberia and Sierra Leone. This week, for the next four days, we will be convening our members, government officials and uh, leaders in health, business, philanthropy, and civil society, not just to discuss, but actually to generate commitments to take action like this one. So here we are, the day before CGI begins, um, out of JFK. Really excited that one of our long-standing CGI members, Direct Relief, has put together an airlift, which is this giant plane uh, behind us of 100 tons of medical supplies and equipment um, going to Liberia and Sierra Leone. This is the largest single humanitarian airlift that Direct Relief has done in its 66-year history. The coalition has come together to uh, build back a health system for remote villages while responding to Ebola. We recently sent a chartered 737 over to West Africa, working with Direct Relief, uh, America Air's Child Fund International. We were just given a $3 million grant to set up an air bridge to West Africa. The first flight uh, left yesterday and uh, it will re leave regularly uh, over the next uh, few months through the end of the year. Econet Wireless will provide $100,000 worth of solar-powered lanterns to support relief teams working to treat, contain, and prevent Ebola outbreaks in some of the most affected areas, particularly the rural areas. There's so many things you can do to support, even if you're not there physically. Those who have a communications vent can help to, to disseminate messages on what is the best way to contain this disease and not fall prey to it. Donating protective gear or money to purchase, even hand sanitizers. Today we are facing the outbreak. We need to respond to the outbreak. What tomorrow, when we are sure that it is stopped? Ebola is not just about Ebola. It's about the health systems that needed strengthening in the past and now desperately need to be rebuilt. And, and strengthen. There's got to be a new way of doing this work, in other words, and Ebola is a reminder. We're incredibly grateful to our CGI members for responding to this need. This is only the vanguard of helping Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea um, build robust, resilient health systems uh, to better meet the next crisis whenever it comes, and also the ongoing health needs of their population. This is not a West Africa problem. This is a world problem, and so the sooner the world comes together, you know, to really back up these countries, the better.